Good morning, Dwayne, and welcome everyone to the September edition of the Chamber Chat program. And welcome to my co-host this morning, Josh Isaac, the director at the DeKalb County Complex. We know it's going to be fun when Josh is around. Wild show today. I tell you, it's going to be entertaining. I'm, I'm nervous. You should be. <laughs> I never know. What you're uh, well, anyway, we hope you stay tuned because we got lots of great local events that are coming up and opportunities, and there's so many. I can't wait to hear all about them. Well, you should. Uh, I was hoping that you already knew because you're my co-host this morning, but we could be in trouble. Uh, I do have it written down, though. I know. Uh, but before we get to talking about that, we got to talk about the new members. You know, new chamber members is what I absolutely love. It's her favorite thing my in favorite the world. My favorite thing in the world. And one of my new chamber members is here from Air Medcare Network. Robert Keene is here. Good morning, Robert. Good morning, everybody. Oh, my goodness. Robert is always so happy. And, and I, when he comes to the chamber office, I think I'm going to, I always say, oh, I'm going to have a good day because Robert's here. He's so fun. Oh, You're going to love him. Gonna I can't wait to meet him. I know. Well, anyway, and you know, we hope that you never need medical transport by an air ambulance. But That's right. if you do, you're going to tell everybody how Air Med Care membership could protect, right? Yes, I am, Suzanne, and, and I'll tell you what. My name again is Robert Cannon with Air Med Care Network. A lot of people sadly have not heard about Air Med Care yeah. Network, but they've all seen our helicopters. Life Force flies in here all the time. Yeah. We're the emergency aircraft service. Um, we're the best thing on your worst day. That's our motto. So what Air Make Care Network does is if you ever need us for an emergency flight, and we hope you never do, but that bill can be thousands and thousands of dollars. Yes. And a lot of people ask me, Robert, why is it so much? Well, you got to realize we're flying a $10 million aircraft. This aircraft carries an ultrasound, blood, plasma, anti-venom. Now the anti-venom comes in a little vial about that size, and in 30 days, if we don't use it, we have to throw it away. Oh, wow. And believe it or not, that little vial is $15,000. Wow. And we use them every summer, all the time. Well, you are designed to save lives. We are. But they mm -hmm. save lives. They are angels yeah. in the sky. Yeah. What I do on the background is people don't realize that after that thousand dollar bill, the thousands and thousand dollars, insurance just doesn't pay everything. Yeah. So what our membership does is two things. Number one, it supports these aircraft so we can get you to those trauma centers, to the hospital very, very quickly. Number two, with that membership, Whatever your insurance pays is payment in full. Wow. So out of a $50,000 bill, just for an example, your insurance pays 1500 I don't have that kind of money, do you? No, just, absolutely just to put not. Out, and that's, that's not counting the ambulance and the hospitals and all that. So this membership pays for everything. And it's so affordable. Well, what I'm excited about is we've signed that affinity agreement with yeah. the chamber. What this does is all chamber members and their employees get discounts on these memberships. So you can get a one year membership, you can go all the way up to 10 years. All the board member, I mean, if you're a chamber, I mean a chamber member, you can get this discount. Absolutely, chamber member or your employees. Yeah. So give you an example, a one year membership, instead of $85 a year, it's only $65 a year. We can save you up to $200 on your membership. And is that for just one person? Absolutely not, that's for everybody that lives with you. Oh my goodness, the whole house. The whole house. Yeah. We've got a house that has 21 people living in it. Oh my goodness. They're all covered <laughs> under that one price. That sounds like your house. That like <laughs> Is that me you're talking about? <laughs> I don't want to say anything. So you can go all the way up to a 10-year membership, yeah. and you don't have to worry about, should I need this? I'm not going to have to file bankruptcy, go broke, or yeah. need all that money out of savings. What about for, uh, are there any special prices for seniors, 60-plus uh, or anything? Seniors get the rates that the Chambers members already get, so yeah. the senior rate is already at 65. Awesome. So there's and a 65 the best awesome. part about this, remember I said it was twofold. Yeah. This not only supports the bases here locally, but it covers you coast to coast. Wow. Even Alaska and Hawaii. Now, the only catch to Alaska and Hawaii is you have to take your manager with you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been trying this a long time, and I've never had one taker on it. You've never had anybody never. take you to Hawaii or Alaska. Now, if you've got a college student yeah. that's full-time in school, they're still on your membership. Oh, wow. So it's not insurance, there's no gray area, it's black and white. If you get flown, you pay nothing. Wow. So $65. $65. Just, say you're, uh, just make sure you're a chamber member and that's the special deal. Make and sure you're a chamber member. And you're going to start seeing me out and about different businesses. I'm going to be introducing myself more because after 33 years, people need to hear about that. Yeah. So I'm going to be out and about and I'm going to be doing my best to meet y'all so you can get these discounts. Well, y'all make sure you welcome Robert when he comes in because he is a friendly guy, as you can tell. 
Thank, Thank you. you, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Robert. <laughs> Have a great day. Well, we got another new member, too. Well, tell me all about the it. The pharmacy at Fa Family Medical Center, located at 300 North Congress Boulevard in Smithfield. The pharmacists are Colin Cantrell and Susanna Cripps Daltrey. We had so much fun there yesterday at the Ribbon Company. I saw the video. You should have been there, Josh. I it was know. so fun. Uh, but the hours are Monday through Friday from 8 to 6, Saturday 8 to 2. Uh, just give them a call at 615-215-6967. And, uh, and also, I want to mention a ribbon cutting we're about to have this Friday. You might want to come to Okay, us. I'm going to put it on my calendar. I know you're, oh, it's actually your neighbor. It's the Vintage Owl. Oh, well, I mean. Because Josh is living downtown now. Don't tell everybody where I live. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say what building. It's some building. <laughs> uh, but I've been in there. Yeah. And it is amazing. Isn't it amazing? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just like going to me. If, if When you go to Franklin and those little stores, right. it's like that. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. And they're getting ready for fall, too, so it's all new. Oh. I've been watching them bringing stuff in. Yeah. Oh, so. they're so talented. But it's at 109 West Walnut Street, downtown Smithfield. And Friday, September the 7th at 3 p.m. we'll be having the ribbon cutting. So that's a great time to come out and, and check out this wonderful store. And they're having deals. I saw that on the oh. because of the ribbon cutting. Oh, I love it. So deals. they're having all kinds of good deals going on. And I think the other stores are staying open late, too. Oh, so some of great. them. Some of them. Some of them, yeah. <laughs> Don't say all of them. Yeah, not all of them. <laughs> but anyway, come out and support our downtown. We've got, we're getting lots of new businesses downtown Smithfield. So we want to make sure they stay. So come on out. and. and and two, we're still working on our, our downtown facade improvements, so that'll be uh, finishing up by the end of October. So we're really excited about all the things happening downtown. Downtown is starting to move up. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to get Josh to do a big fall fest there next year, right? Yeah, we're going to work on it. <laughs> uh -huh, we're going to work on it. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And talking about lots of fun, Josh, the annual DTC Communications Meeting of the Members. Oh. You want to tell everybody about that? I sure can. It is Saturday, September 15th at the DeKalb County Fairgrounds Alexandria. That's fun itself. I think I sang there one year. So oh, yeah. It, there's all kinds of people. Um, the cast your vote for by noon to 3 p.m. Get there early enough to uh, for free gifts. Free gifts. Free. I like, yes. You got to get there early oh, for a free gift. Well, make, I'd get there early. Yeah. Um, and the business meeting starts at 3 p.m. Barbecue and oh. all the trimming, soft drinks, um, noon to 3 p.m. And for more information about membership and voting, call DTC at 615-529-2955. Free meal, get to vote. I mean, yeah. what more Free could you gifts. ask for? It's going to be a good day. So, and talking about a good day, lots of things going on in Alexandria. Mm -hmm. Alexandria's Old Timers on the Square event is going to be Saturday, September 15th. It's going to be on the Alexandria Public Square. There'll be shopping, live music, and, and more. And I'll tell you about the food in a minute. But some of the vendors include Paparazzi Jewelry, 31, OMG Leatherworks, Whitley's Woodcraft, and much, much more. Bring your own lawn chair and just stay all day. And... There's also on the same day, Josh. Okay. The Alexander Fire Department's going to have a cookout on the square and motorcycle ride. Well, why not just go? I mean, take your lawn chair. <laughs> I mean, I know. food and shopping and music. Yeah, music. Yeah. Everything is right there. And and downtown Alexander is just kind of so sweet and it picturesque. Is. Mm -hmm. And but anyway, the cookout for the Alexander Fire Department will be 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. They'll have hot dogs, hamburgers, cheeseburgers, all kinds. Of stuff. And then the motorcycle ride, all bikes are welcome. Uh, registrations from 10 to 11 a.m. It's $20 for the driver, $5 for the passenger. They'll be uh, driving about 70 to 100 miles. Mm. Uh, it'll be a scenic ride, and the fee includes the meal at the end of the ride, and then all the proceeds benefit the Alexander Fire Department. And that's a great cause. Absolutely. They do such a good job down they there. They do. So for more information, call 615-308-1615. Oh, look who's here in the house this morning. Clark <laughs> Oakley is here this morning, and we love to have you here, Clark. You bring us bracelets. <laughs> I know. bracelets. I'm going to see if I can get mine on my hand, my gigantic hand. There we go. And you're here to talk about, oh, this is a fourth annual. 5K and Fun Run for Down Syndrome Awareness, so tell us all about it. It is. I appreciate you having me back this year uh, as we prepare for our fourth annual. Uh, the, the 
facilities will take place at the DeKalb West School there in Liberty. Uh, talk about a picturesque ride for the motorcycles. It's also a picturesque run or walk uh, for the participants in the in the run. It goes back behind the school along the ridge and comes back out. So just a great turnout. The uh, community has uh, been a great supporter. Uh, our past several years, we've averaged around 200 entries. Wow, in that's that. incredible! So it's a it's a good time to just get out and have fun and uh, and support a great cause, not just for Down syndrome, but also for special needs. Um, past uh, three years, we've been able to give back over fifteen thousand uh, dollars to support families. That's send incredible. Kids to count, mm. uh, provide resources for the school systems. Uh, different things like that. So it, it is a great cause and uh, that's October the 6th. Uh, the run will actually start at 8. Uh, registration will begin around 6.30, quarter till 7. Uh, easiest way to do that is to register online at 321RUN and the number 4DS.org uh, to sign up there. Um, Cut off uh, September 14th guarantees a t-shirt. Uh, there's also a little price break if you register before the 29th of this month. Uh, so please go online and get registered for that. Uh, appreciate that. Lots of great support from, uh, I mentioned the, uh, the community, but also, uh, you know, Sheriff's Department helps us. Mr. Hoyt Hale, Emergency Services helps. Uh, Tennessee Highway Patrol. Uh, road supervisor, so lots lots of people doing things in the background that they may not see that day. Uh, so we appreciate all that as well. Well, as that's the, how we get things done is partnerships. It's never yeah. one organization or one person. It's a lot of things going on. It is. Yeah. It is. And they do a lot. I worked with um, special needs, and and they provided uh, TV and different things for the classroom over the years. And oh. so so it's such a great cause, and especially when as you know schools don't have the funding to do certain things and there's so many things that special needs really needs um, to help support it so it's a great we do we request uh, kind of a wish list mm -hmm. from the school systems and the people that work in those areas and uh, hopefully can provide the most of that on those mm -hmm. wish lists each year but uh, as you know uh, our rural counties it's a little harder to get services uh, than just say the people that live in Davidson County or Rutherford County or even Putnam County uh, a lot of people carry their children uh, to those areas uh, for some of the resources. So, um, makes really, it all the more important to do these things. It does. It does. Yeah. Well, we so appreciate you doing this. Remind everybody again the date and uh, how to register. Okay. October the 6th at the DeKalb West School in Liberty, 101 Bulldog Lane. And uh, registration will start around 6.30, quarter till 7 with the, with the run walk. Uh, starting at 8. Uh, there's also a fun run for the children or anyone else that wants to participate in that as well. Uh, the easiest way to register is to go on our website 321RUN and the number 4DS.org. Uh, you can register online or you can print off a uh, registration form and mail that in. If you well, what's the cost? So the cost up through the 29th is $25 and from then it will go to $30 through the day of the race. Gotcha. Uh, we did have a earlier price break, but that point's already gone. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that sounds great. Everybody come out. Sounds like it is a, a well-supported event, mm -hmm. and it's and it, it supports a good cause. It helps you to get healthier by getting out and walking and running yourself. So uh, so uh, come out and support this uh, this wonderful thing. And thank you for all you do, Clark, to to make sure this happens. All right. Thank you for having us. Well, anytime. You just give me a call. <laughs> now, speaking of giving me a call, this is the person I talk to about every day of my life and love it. She keeps me on track. She does keep us on track. She does. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy, or we love to call her Coco, right, Josh? Coco. From the Justin Potter Library, the, the, the director of libraries around here. And, and we are so, really, honestly, I don't, I don't know that we say this enough, but 
our libraries are exceptional and we're so proud of them, you know. They're not mm -hmm. something that's just, uh, I mean, you know, rural communities, sometimes I don't know that you have something like we've got. It's absolutely beautiful, both of them. Well, you know, we, we work at it. Yeah. You know, we do our best and I have a wonderful staff or we wouldn't be doing all this. I know And a you wonderful always, library board because they're very yeah. supportive and the county's supportive and, and the community. I mean, uh, you know, partnering with, uh, you know, the chamber and, and WJLE and the Smithville Review and, and different organizations throughout town, you know, it's just a wonderful thing. We couldn't do it by ourselves, and like I say, without my staff keeping me on track. <laughs> well, we love to work together, don't yes, we? Yes, we do. Yeah. Partnerships are great, but uh, we've got our art classes continuing, and uh, they are so popular that they stay full, the adult classes. Well, Miss so, Helen is pretty awesome. She is awesome, and mm -hmm. she, she uh, uh, people just really enjoy it. People come into the class and say, oh, I can't do anything. I'm just, I'm not talented. And they leave, and look, they've got a beautiful uh, artwork. She's know. quoting me. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, there, there, there's a few others that, oh, I just can't do that. And then yeah. they come in there, and they sit down, and she, Helen gives them a few pointers, and they just take off and their imagination just runs wild and they've got some beautiful artwork that you know they can leave to their family maybe it <laughs> you know? is it's it surprising is, what you can come up with and they're having fun in there too i know i have to calm y'all yeah. down sometimes oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah be quiet in there yeah it is fun and you know there's no pressure to perform everybody no. can just do whatever they want it's so and, much and they'll they'll you know i'll say well that is beautiful i say kathy you're lying your nose is growing <laughs> but it really it is it, it's it's really beautiful and they're so talented once they get in there and get a hold and and like I say, our classes stay full, but we do take alternates. And if someone, you know, calls and says, hey, I can't come today, then we can call the alternate. Yeah. And then we also have uh, classes for our uh, for our homeschoolers or anyone that's not in school. We have that, and that will be on the September 26th this time, and it'll be at 12 o'clock in the art room. So call the library. We do have a few openings in that. So call, and we can set you up a time. Uh, seating is limited, yeah. so please call because, like I say, there's a... There's a waiting list a lot of times for the adult classes. On the homeschoolers, is that also just kind of the same kind of classes we have? It is. It usually is. I think she's doing journaling. Media. She's doing journaling all this month. Last month it was all watercolor. Okay. So this time they'll bring their journals and work in that. And and the kids love. Let me tell you, they love cutting and pasting. Yeah. So I love that. Mm -hmm. Some of the kids' yeah. books are this full yeah. because they love cutting and pasting, or they'll draw in the book. So uh, it's a beautiful work of art, and yeah. they they have a good time. And and when they get when they get finished, hell on a hand them some clay and they'll do some all kinds of crazy things with clay so <laughs> be surprised and some of them are really talented at, like at kids the clay. Are very creative. they can make elephants and dogs and yeah. and some other things I don't know what they are but anyway <laughs> but it's works of art yeah uh, but in our book sale is going on now it started uh, it will run through September the 29th at the Alexandria and the Justin Potter oh. libraries uh, we're still accepting uh, book donations and books that are in good condition, please. Uh, D uh, we're DVDs that are in good condition, no magazines, textbooks, or encyclopedias. Sometimes I will come in and somebody has dropped off a load of encyclopedias on the front <laughs> set. And luckily one day somebody dropped some off and I said, you know, I don't know if we can get rid of them. I said, just leave them out here and we'll see. The next morning I came in, it was about 7.30 and this lady had driven up and she said, I just came by to see if you had anything out free. I helped her load the encyclopedias what? in the car and she was gone with them. So, you never know. Never know. One person's junk is another person's treasure. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, come in and check out what we have to offer. You know, we, we do have good prices on our magazines and books and uh, DVDs. Uh, so come by the libraries, both libraries. And actually, the Alexandria Library will be open during the Old Timers Day at Alexandria. Uh, and so they can come in and our book sale will be going on down there. So they can come and buy some books. Oh, that's a yeah, great time to buy so books. We're open from 10 to 2 on Saturdays at, the, at Alexandria. So, And remember, we do have the Reads program. Anybody that uh, you know maybe can't get into the library or travels a lot, uh, we do have the Reads program. If you have a library card, it has to be a current library card. And there's free downloadable ebooks and audiobooks mm -hmm. and I think there's some videos that people do. We had about thirteen hundred downloads last month. Wow, so that's we get awesome. a lot of people. We get people that are avid readers and they will download. If you download it you can keep it for so many days. It just disappears. There's no fines on it. It counts toward our circulation. So oh. it's a win win for everyone. Basically people that are shut in, maybe can't get out uh, like I say, people that do travel a lot, you can download it to your... Or just uh, convenient. You're yeah, lazy. Yeah, You're yeah, lazy. No, you want to stay home. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get in the car and drive to the library. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but you don't have to... You, know, you can probably renew them, but uh, there's probably 50,000 books and e-books on there. Mm -hmm. There's children's books. Uh, so it's a wonderful uh, free 
service. But if somebody's a little intimidated by that. You can call the library okay. and one of our staff can help you uh, walk you through it or you can bring your device if it's an iPhone or an iPad. can't bring your computer unless it's a laptop. But you can come in and we can show you how to, how to use that and how to download. It's very simple and there's usually a tutorial on the site. If you go to our website which is decablibraries.net, there's a direct link to reads on there and there's a tutorial on there that shows you how to download it. Oh, it's perfect. pretty yeah. simple. Yeah. It's pretty simple. So we have that. Uh, we also have, you know, we have uh, printing and faxing and copying and boating. We do the boating test, and this time of year we get a lot of kids coming in doing the boating test. Uh, um, we're notaries. There's two notaries at the library. We have a great genealogy. Since Mr. Webb is not there as much as he used to be, he's not, uh, his health issues, uh, I have become a genealogist, oh, so you? to speak. Well, yeah. yeah, I didn't know, realize how much he did, but yeah. there's people calling on the phone, and there's there was three people in there one day, and I was trying to help them. So, you know, but my knowledge is very limited. Let me tell you, I can open the file drawers. But it's growing. Yeah, I can open the file drawers yeah. and show you where Mr. Webb's uh, information is and show you where the books are, and, yeah. uh, and that's pretty mm -hmm. much yeah. <laughs> but, you know, there is a lot of people traveling across the country. Some of, there were some people from Texas, and they were coming in to find out, you know, they thought, oh, their family started here, and then they were going to Virginia. So wow. they're making a cross-country mm -hmm. tour. That would be fun. Yeah, doing genealogy information. So we helped them uh, find something on their family history. So, But anyway, that's the, the information, the services that we have to offer. There's a lot of things that we have in the library besides books. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Free Wi-Fi, yes. Uh, I love to go to the library. Yes. Well. It's sort of like lo loving to touch a paper book. I love to actually walk into the library. It just feels good, doesn't it? Well, we, we hope so. We try Probably, to make it as yeah. homey as possible. Well, it it, is. You know, it's not, uh, we, it's, people feel so homey, they put their feet up on the tables, which is <laughs> no. so That's a no-no. So I had to have a sign, Got please, no feet on the table. Yeah, no feet on the table. Yeah, you, I get can't, you, you get a little too comfortable. Yeah, you get too I can't get into, like, reading an e-book. Like, I have, like, I have to have touch the book, it, the yeah. you know? Yeah. A lot of people um, do, but yeah. then I've people tried. do both. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're going on vacation, you can download some books, and you have them, you don't have to put a book in there. Or I'd just throw some paperbacks in the bag. I to know how much more I have. Yeah. <laughs> Use that bookmark. Yeah. Read ahead and then go back. Yeah. I'm gonna have to reread a few pages if I forget. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for all, all right. you do. Well, thank you, Suzanne. I appreciate you. Well, I'll see you at the art class. I will. Well, Shan said to make sure, you know, since she's not here to talk about the St. Thomas DeKalb Hospital Community Health Fair. And you don't want to get in trouble. I do not want to get in trouble, <laughs> especially since I'm living in her house. She's your landlord. <laughs> yes, she is. Uh, but it's Friday, September 21st. It'll be at the DeKalb County Complex from 5 to 7 p.m. They'll have yoga demos, uh, services, booths, Narcan training, free giveaways, and more. And you're going to love this, Josh. Johnny Cash's oldest grandson, Thomas Gabriel will be singing for the crowd. I can't wait. And he's going to be sharing his story of recovery. Oh, oh isn't that awesome? Mm -hmm. So we're looking forward to that again. That's Friday, September 21st, 5 to 7 p.m. at the wonderful DeKalb County Complex. Of course. you got to yes. come by. I didn't know this having yoga. That's oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, they're going to be doing yoga demos. Okay. So uh, see if you like it or not. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, and also... Uh, Daryl and Beth Gill want me to remind everybody, I think like today is the mm -hmm. deadline to get your Leadership to Cab application in, starting back uh, in just a few weeks, and we're so excited about the new program. I'm so excited. Being an alumni, I'm yeah. just so proud that they're getting it going back, and, yeah. and, um, and any alumni out there also needs to reach out to them and tell them that they'll help yes. and support. You know, I know I've already done that and pulled a few of my classmates in on it too so I'm excited about bringing that and, and if you know someone yeah that's the main thing you know I mean anybody that you think I talked to a lady actually at church um, and talked to her about it she knew nothing about it you oh, know wow. and I, just to get the contacts and to understand about the county and you know it's just an amazing program and I know that they'll do great they'll make it fun so if you live or work in the county just you know just give Daryl or Beth Gill a call Daryl's at uh, DeKalb Tire and Service mm -hmm. and they'll get you set up so we're, like, we're excited about that now Josh I know you got lots of stuff coming up right in your category mm -hmm. the DeKalb County mm -hmm. Complex and maybe some other areas mm -hmm. all right well I'm excited because we are um, launching this week all of our fall stuff yeah you know for the complex where most things in Smithville and DeKalb is going crazy oh yeah um, July and August 
discourse some or the everybody's going to the lake and everybody's going everywhere else well at the complex that's our slow kind of time so um, fall is where our kickoff we've got so many great things and um, so this will be coming out this this week all of these new things but one of my favorite things of course everybody knows B-Tubs oh my you know, goodness she's, we love B-Tubs and she's coming back of course and she's going to do some workout classes she's done them all summer but we're really going to kick off with with that on Monday nights 6 to 7 um, and then and I've got Canon Arts Dance Studio coming in. Are they coming? Starting next week. Oh, wow. Um, they will be here. And um, if you didn't sign up, they're teaching ballet, jazz, tap. You can come um, this coming Monday um, from six, 4 to 6 uh, p.m. But at 4, you need to get there about 3.30 if you hadn't signed up to get your kids in. Um, she said that the numbers are great. I think they already one age group is already sold out uh, for this semester. What are the age groups? Um, I think they're like, the first one's like 3 years old uh -huh. to five and it goes all the way up to adults wow. um, but um, I'm so excited to bring dance back into Smithville um, it's just a great there she's great her name's Miss California you've got to meet her oh, we need to get her on the show I already like her yeah we yeah. need to get her on Next the show month. yeah we'll, we'll talk to her about coming but yeah. she's just really uh, really one of those upbeat people like you are yeah. and um, and then we also have our bluegrass which is we've had but we're excited about bluegrass on Tuesday night six to nine. Oh my goodness I was there last Tuesday night Mm -hmm. I loved it. Those guys can jam. They can. And uh, and more and more people are starting to come out. They're bringing their guitar, sitting around with them, and it's just fun to watch. I don't play anything. Mm -hmm. I just sit and listen, and they let me. Right. Yeah, you right. don't have to be able to do anything. Right. You just got to love good bluegrass music. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, of course. Yeah. And, you know, and I, I, it's not my favorite bluegrass. Yeah. Oh, I know we're, oh, oh I no. said that. But okay. but yeah. I love but I love just coming out and listening. It and, is fun to listen yeah, to. Yeah, and they sing current stuff and and stuff that go way back. But maybe they'll take requests. Yeah, maybe. Maybe they will. Um, and then Lynn, uh, of course, um, is gonna be doing the Tabata kickboxing on Thursdays. Oh, say and that again. What kind Tabata. of Tabata. 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 Oh man, I wish you practice that yeah. one. Yeah. Um, and um, that's at seven to eight. Um, and all of our workout classes are five dollars. So you oh, come in, you deal. just pay the $5 yeah. and get to work out for an hour with us. Um, just come try it out. And then um, another group coming in that yeah. I'm very excited about and is Cindy Cinderella's are coming oh. to the complex. And they do gymnastics and tumbling and baton and just a, and cheer dance. And so I'm excited. And wow. now this Thursday from, um, I think it's from 6 to 7, you can come out and they're going to be there to answer any questions. You can sign up. Um, they're another energetic group that will be taking over our complex on Thursday nights. Oh, wow. And, um, and so we're bringing all kinds of stuff. I love to see so much stuff going on out there. Mm -hmm. And you're working on plays, right? Right, right. But well, I'm not through. Though. Oh, you're not through. You're no, just, oh, no, just we're beginning. not through. So um, we also offer piano and voice lessons at Are the complex. Are you joking me? No, you could go over there and go, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish. <laughs> I could use some voice lessons. Um, but we, um, and then some things that are coming up this fall, some big announcements yeah. that I've not told oh anyone but oh, you. Oh, this is, this is um, We are going to start a three-on-three -three basketball league for adults. <gasps> oh. Um, and so that's coming up. Um, be watching for that. What does that mean? Three-on-three, um, three, that means you have. I mean, three against three people. Yeah. But I mean, mm -hmm. so you're, you're doing leagues and you yeah, just get we'll your own little league. group together. You'll have your own little group together. There'll oh, be wow. a small fee. And, um, and we will. Well, um, you'll get to come out once a week and play against other little groups and um, oh. I think it's a good way to get people involved because we have so many people who love using the gym and it's yeah. just a new way to do that. Um, we're also having our very first DeKalb chair volleyball tournament. Oh, oh, they get vicious on that. Right. Yeah, and so I've got a lot of information but I'm not yeah. going to give it out this month. Okay. But we'll give it out next month. I but love um, that. But um, it's going to be a great thing. Our, we're having our Fall Fest October 20th. Oh, my. And um, it's going to be free. Everything in it's free. Oh. I know that we're already going to have art class for free. We're going to have um, we're going to have all kinds of different yeah. uh, events going on inside all day long. Um, so it's going to be all indoors and, and yeah. all mm -hmm. kinds of cool stuff. All going kinds on. of cool stuff. Free face painting. Free popcorn. Free really? cakewalk. Free oh, wow. games. Free everything's going to be free. We, I really wanted to do something to give back to the community yeah. and uh, have something free for kids to come to and adults and families and just to have a, a fun day. So um, we're asking anybody churches um, or or groups that want to join us we've already got the 4-H helping and um, 
and different departments coming that's a great out. Great idea! So, like they could set up a game or something. Yeah, that's what oh, we're that's what we're trying to get. I love that. The senior citizens are helping us. Are um, they? So so we really need help. And then also this fall we will be starting yoga classes. So we're excited about oh getting goodness. that going. So. Um, well, we, Josh, you want me to go and talk about theater too? Or you yeah, to, okay. yeah, hit it. Um, we're so excited. Um, you know, the Cap Performing Arts um, has really took a life of its own. Yeah. And so this year, um, we just casted a new cast of over fifty-four. Are you, you joking? It? Fifty-four people, and it, you are um, a glutton for punishment. I know, you? right? Um, and uh, but it's kids all the way to adults, and um, it is going to be a huge show. It's a Christmas show called The Day Before Christmas. Oh wow! And um, we're just so excited we had our first practice last night and uh, they sound amazing and um, it's everything you could think of of Christmas all rolled up into this one show that um, it's got tons of songs that you know that's you always say that's oh, yeah. my specialty oh, yeah, uh -huh. um, but um, just tons of songs um, of course you know you're you've got your people that you always love seeing the shows Tom Duggan's back yeah. and um, he's the Elvis reindeer oh is he <laughs> well, that works out pretty good huh? right right um, but there's also um, and, and some others that you've seen but there's a whole lot of new people including that I'm so proud of we had casting Matt Manville yeah and we have some amazing talent from Matt Manville wow that's in the show. I love having uh, uh, the county sort of right. mingle together right. like this so this it's like nice. Warren and DeKalb coming together yeah. and um, and we'll have shows um, here at the complex as wow. well as at Park Theater wow so, Josh so yeah we're excited we're excited there's going to be um, amazing things and so you know you know, we just keep moving on here in the cabin. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, I knew when you took over this that it was going to go crazy, and well, it has. I love it. It's crazy well, in a good way. I came after being sick and yeah. from swimming in the ocean. You yeah. know, I came back and said, we got to get a lot of things going, yeah. so we got it. You did so, it. Okay. Yeah. Well, we appreciate all you do, and it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Oh, now, speaking of lots of fun, let me tell you, when, you know, you go to Edgar Evans State Park any season, they have lots and lots to do, and it never, Brad, slows down, I don't think, even in the winter. I, I don't know. Y'all have lots going on. We do. We do. And it's coming up on our fav my favorite time of year, you know, the fall. I and love. this awesome voice is coming from Brad Halfacre. <laughs> well, thank, you. <laughs> thank you for being here this morning. Yes, glad, thank you for having us. I was saying, uh, this time of year is great, you know, from camping to staying in our cabins. We've got some of the... I think we got the deal of the week going on in our cabins right now. You oh. can check our website out. It's a little discounted rate from yeah. what it normally is. Uh, you just got to mention that when they call and make the reservation. But, you know, as the temperatures go down, what I love more than anything is driving through the campground and smelling those campfires. Oh. You know, in the summertime, people have them in the summertime, yeah. but it is not, it it's just so not good. the same. Yeah. You know, you got especially bacon and sausage oh. cooking over that campfire you <laughs> oh, know I, that's one of my favorite things as a, as a ranger to enjoy the smelling those campfires and, and smelling all the all the good smells that come from the, oh, come from the campground but we do we've got a lot going on in the month of september and rolling on into october um i don't you know if you guys have known about it or not but we're actually trying to get a mountain bike trail oh, oh I've heard that'd be that. awesome I'm so excited. we've got it we've got a work day mm -hmm. schedule for that actually this saturday uh, September 8th it'll be in the morning uh, I think they're gonna start around 8 o'clock uh, but Ranger Justin Vaughn is is the one in charge of that but they can call the office 931-858-2114 uh, or they can actually <clears throat> send Justin an email you know justin.vaughn at tn.gov about coming to that if they're interested um, We've got Sunset Cruise scheduled for the uh, 14th of September. I believe it is full, but you can check and see about getting getting on that. You have to get early on that. You side. do. The, the, yeah. the cruises have to. You have to get early. Uh, September 22nd is another work day on the mountain bike trail. So the same. What was that day? September 22nd. Oh, okay. And then on the 23rd, we've got the outdoor photography workshop. That sounds fun. So that's anybody interested in doing photography on there. I mean, you don't have to have any skill. Any skill level is welcome. Uh, it's Ranger Mark Taylor. Mark Taylor is an awesome photographer. He, he is He great. has let me borrow. When we were doing a new tourism video, mm -hmm. we contacted him because oh, yes. we said, we've got yeah. to borrow your stuff. And he said, yes, anything I've got. So yes. he's fantastic. He is great. And, and. The thing, all, all this stuff you can find on our website. If you go to ten, Tennessee State Parks, look us up on that, and all this upcoming events is on that, and our Facebook page. 
Uh, something else we got going, the backcountry campsites. Oh. We got that a work day scheduled for the 29th of uh, September on that. Um, that's just, I, I think we're going to put them back on the, kind of on the Merritt Ridge Loop there around in that area. Just a beautiful part of the park, but it's it's the idea that people backpack in, yeah. stay the night and they backpack back oh, out. Really? So that'll be, that's just a different type of camping that <laughs> yeah. it's popular at other places, but mm -hmm. it, it's, it, we've had several requests for it and we're going to, we're going to make it work. Um, on, and on September 28th at 4 p.m., and it's going to be posted for registration here later today, but it's a What Lies Beneath Lake Tour. And what that is, is uh, former former park manager Carl Halfacre, we bring him down. You might know him a yeah, little. Yeah, a little bit. i got to get him out of retirement. got to get him up and, yeah. and moving and, and, and get, him, get him something to do because he don't, you know, he don't like to sit stagnant too yeah. long. But, but we get him, he comes down and talks about the history of the Caney Fork River watershed kind of before the impoundment of the lake. and. We go through some coves and tell some stories that, oh, that we've that been passed down down from from community members from DeKalb County and in that Wolf Creek area. That's that's on the 28th. And well, then, he's always been so interested in history. Oh, um, yes. That area. Yeah. I mean, he's the one who started the History Hayride. Oh, yes. And that, years ago. That, that's coming up. Registration's open for the History oh. Hayride right now. Uh, it's, it's October 13th. You can get on the... Uh, you can follow us there on Facebook. Call the park. We can we can send you the right way to to register with that, or you can do that through the Friends of Edgar Evans. And don't wait because that'll fill up too. It fills up. It fills up pretty quick. Yeah. And then also right after that, we're going to kick off with our fall color cruises that we do oh, throughout wow. the week. So uh, the months of September and October are very very busy. Oh my goodness, I love that, and and I've been wanting to take one of those uh, cruises forever. Mm -hmm. I need to get down well, there for that. The the the, the the, the fall color cruises that we do, we do them a couple times through the week. So it's it's good if you're working or whatever. There's there's multiple chances to hit that. Do it. Yes, and then uh, on the 27th, the our friends group has a big one that the marina sponsors us a boat and a couple of boats, and we use our boat, and so we have uh, several boats go out on that particular day. But the ones we're going to be doing, we'll be running them throughout the month, three days a week. It's and very affordable those, too. It is. It is. Those I think they're ten bucks. Wow. A person. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it's it's very very affordable. You can you need pack your little lunch. Really. And have, have it out of there on the. So way. how long do they last? They last about three hours. Three two hours. Three hours. Wow. Right. Now that is a deal. Mm -hmm. That's like three bucks an hour. Yeah. yeah it's them. very oh. very very reasonable. Yeah. And uh, and then of course going on to the tour, which we'll have the, we'll be back next month talking about some more things going on in October. But I also want to put out where you are doing the. The campsite Halloween decoration oh, contest, yeah, and that's, that's going to be on the 27th as well. So oh. of that evening, mm -hmm. so we got busy, busy, <laughs> busy. <laughs> wow, busy, busy, busy. we love our state park. Yes, and if y'all hadn't checked out our cabins lately, I mean we've got them. We updated them last winter, but the, I mean we're getting people, people really. Or raving on what we've done. Oh so goodness, what? Well, come check us Give out. me a call because I want to come see them and yes, get it on Facebook yes. and show everybody. Maybe we can yes. do a community improvement award or something. Oh yeah, that'd be, that'd be fun. Yes, that'd be great. Thank that'd you for coming great. out. Thank y'all for having us. We Thank love you. Love y'all. Love you too. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness! Didn't that I sound know, fun? I can't. Well, I want to just go down there, and I'm not even an outdoors person. <laughs> <laughs> you would be if you went over there. Yeah. Every time I'm driving through a park, there's like mm -hmm. deer that cross in front of the road. It's so pretty over there, and it's like the stress just leaves your body. Usually, when I see deer on the road, I'm going too fast. I slow down. <laughs> I slam on my brakes real quick. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's cover a couple of things here. Okay. Um, Hey, since I'm about to lose my voice yeah. for a second, uh, talk about the Silver Point Arts and Music Festival. Well, I've been seeing the posters everywhere. Yeah, they're beautiful, aren't they? I know, they? they have a green bean on them. That's oh. why I remember them. <laughs> That's but, why you guessed that uh, yeah. this morning. Yeah. But Friday, October 5th, and Saturday, October 6th is when they're kicking it off. It's at Cherry Hill Farms, 16639 Smithville Highway, Silver Point. It's a family-friendly event um, celebrating excellent, uh, excellence in American and music and craft artisans. Um, it's a one day pass is twenty five dollars, or you get a deal. Yeah. If you go two days, yeah. it's only forty. Yeah. Um, Friday lineup <clears throat> starts at six p.m. and bonfire at nine thirty p.m. I love a good bonfire. And you know, and the thing is, is like that's fall. Yeah, you know, that's you, all about fall. Yeah. And then Saturday, uh, it begins at one p.m. For more information or to purchase tickets, go to www.silverpoint. 
art and music festival.com it's hard to read those i know it's like you together. have to look through I know. The, but um and there's together. posters up everywhere um i know they're at the complex so if you need to get more information come by there too so yeah call, carl massaro's in charge of that and and we've met numerous times so he's very excited and and hopes the community comes out and supports this yes yeah it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Deborah Rosinski, the manager at the Appalachian Center for Craft, couldn't be here today, but she said to be sure to remind everybody that it's Bacchanal time. Oh, Bacchanal. Yeah, Bacchanal. It's uh, this annual scholarship fundraiser for Tennessee Tech School of Art. Um, School of Art, Craft, and Design students. It takes place on Sunday, October the 21st from 1 to 5 p.m. And it's going to be at Spanky's Restaurant in Cookville. Oh, they have cool. lots of things going on. They have the live art auction mm -hmm. and hors d'oeuvres. And it's just fun to hang out with everybody. It's, it's, a, it's a good time. Reservations are $50 in advance and available at tntech.edu slash Bacchanal. That's B A C C H A in a yellow. If you can, I couldn't spell it. I had to look. But anyway, if you, you can Google it. You can Google it. If you can come close to the spelling, that'll yeah. be the rest. <laughs> Uh, and also, I spoke to uh, Darcy Cripps, and she wanted me to remind everybody about the fifth annual Paisley's Foundation Craft and Home Show. This is a 501c3 nonprofit organization to benefit families dealing with stillbirth and infant loss. Mm -hmm. And she's turned this this very hard and tragic situation in her life into a very positive to help other people. And and it's going to be Saturday, October 13th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's going to be at the DeKalb County Fairgrounds in Alexandria. It's free parking, free admission. But this morning she said she is still needing vendors. She mm -hmm. knows we have a lot of great artists or people that sell things in our county. And to please uh, tell them it's only $25 for an inside booth. It's an 8 by 10 space. Uh, she also has outside spaces available if you're, if you're interested. But for more information or if you'd like to participate, contact Darcy at 615-464-5139 or you can email paisleysfoundation at gmail.com. Sounds like another just great event. I don't understand why people in DeKalb don't see that, especially in the fall, there's tons of things to do. Lots and lots, lots. of uh, opportunities, mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Um, and I don't have all the info on this, but I did meet with Kim at Southern Splendor Farms. She said they're gonna be having an Autumn's Adventures Tour, hmm. October 19th and 20th. It sounds lots of fun, lots of people that she wants to be on this tour, mm -hmm. but, I didn't get all the info from her yet, so hopefully we'll have more about that next month. But you mm -hmm. can contact her at 931-304-3196. And Josh, we want to remind everybody, we need volunteers, lots of volunteers, for the Habitat for Humanity of DeKalb County. Right. The house, they're needing to get this uh, project complete. This is a community effort. So mm -hmm. talk to your churches, your right. friends. Our businesses. churches has been our church has been out a couple of times, and Have I've seen some other churches yeah. there. And so it's just a great thing. And of course, this house is very near and dear because it's my friend. Is it uh, Jamie Noakes? Oh you know, goodness. sings, and she, yeah. you know, her family they deserve um, deserve it. And it's just an amazing thing to be able to go out there and to really just give back. And yeah. even if you can only go for an hour, you know, um, I even think it's great. I, I saw where uh, families come. Yeah. You know bring your families oh. you know what a better way to show your kids to give back to yeah a community, so uh, you want to teach mm -hmm. your kids to be good volunteers mm -hmm. good good people in the community and that's and they learn that from watching mm -hmm. you do that so oh I'm so glad that and Jamie she's a hard worker she's mm -hmm. out there working on it too it's mm -hmm. not like where yeah. everybody else does the work right she does she's been out there every week yeah and so work days are Saturday starting at 7 a.m. and goes to about mid-afternoon but like Josh said just go go when you can mm -hmm and they will be glad to have the help. Well, Josh, you got anything else? No, I'm just excited about all these things. I feel like that, you know, I'm going to have to go get my calendar out. <laughs> <laughs> I know. When again is that fall fest at the county It's Complex? October 20th. October 20th. Um, and okay. there'll be more information next month. So. That sounds good. Yeah. Well, we'll have you back. Well, the Chamber wants to help promote your news or special events. Please call our office at 615-597-4163 or email me at swilliams at dekalbcountychamber.org and we'll help you spread the word. Thanks to my co-host this morning, the very fun and talented 
talented Josh Isaac and to all our special guests this morning. And we're grateful for WJLE Radio and DTC TV for sponsoring the Chamber Chat program. And we certainly appreciate our listening and viewing audiences. We'll be back on October the 3rd. All right. So we hope you tune in next month. Same chat time. Same chat channel. Happy fall, y'all. See you later.